What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to a special gameplay video right here where I want to test my most fun robot in the game, the Vortex Spectre. A little bit different this time with an ECU shield. That's actually on my account because I did have one of those laying around. And I wanted to test this, guys, with you here. And let's fire some big, big Vortex here onto the dude there. I almost said a bad word right there. You, you got it? <laughs> uh, I was able to stop myself just in time. And uh, yeah, so we already hit the guy pretty hard the guy who just jumped up you see that's how he looks like after my hit with a three vortex of course we sacrifice 20 percent or 25 percent firepower pretty much by removing one of those vortex but arguably i think you could say um the uh, vortex or the specter itself has enough firepower you could probably sacrifice 25 percent and if you think okay when are you gonna get something back from having this shield this, for example, is the moment. We're playing Team Deathmatch right here. You see a lot of Hydra Spectres, a lot of Spirals, and uh, a lot of Ares with, uh, you know, the uh, built-in laser weapons of the Ares, where you can just say, you know what, I don't care. Hold the shield up and just block it all, right? And uh, you see, then there's the next Hydra's coming in, and I'm just gonna check if he's firing at me. And yes, indeed, he is still firing at me. And this thing is Mark II Level 12 Max Shield. It has 236 thousand HP so consider how much more you can block how much longer you can stay alive there comes the next four hydras and at this point I think that the uh, the enemy over there Naim AIG at this point he decided that it's no more worth firing and wasting his time at firing at me he knows I'm a Spectre because he saw me stealth jump up there but for some reason all his vortex or hydras sorry all his hydras just never do any damage right so at this point, I would probably ex assume he stops firing at me because he no longer fire uh, can uh, score any hits. And I'm like, okay, you know what, Naim, I, I've had it with you now, with your Vortex, uh, with your, oh man, with your Hydra. It's time for you to say goodbye. And that's why I'm coming. I'm crossing the entire map. I'm coming for him right here. I noticed he only had one shot and now he has to reload. And... Mm, at this point, I think he knows why he didn't do any damage to me because now he sees <laughs> What I have that makes me avoid all the damage and at this point he was like, okay, you know what? Let's make peace. Okay, you and I stop it. We're doing peace now He says no 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 and he doesn't stealth jump. He could have stealth jumped away. He didn't uh, on purpose He uh, he, he wanted to broker a peace with me right here <laughs> And I just like I was so mad because of uh, not mad But because I didn't even take damage, but I was very determined to get the dangerous Hydra Spectre out of the match. So I just walk away and I decided to get back into my own team into safety. And how do you do this as a Vortex Spectre? That's right, you do it by taking one of them with you. <laughs> just walk away, one tap one guy and just get back into safety. Here's an, an Ares, uh, I cannot deal damage to him, but I can make him use his shield. And that's what I've done right here, a one shot at him. And then I'm waiting for his shield to drop and here comes the shot, boop, and Boom! Well, do we still have enough firepower in the Vortex Spectre, ladies and gentlemen? Do the benefits of having the 236,000 uh, additional physical shield resistance, do they outweigh the benefits of having four weapons rather than three? That's where I got need you guys, okay? This is what I need you guys for. Because you are out there uh, watching this and you know the performance of the Vortex Spectre normally also. And I'm gonna show you right after this a video footage where I'm playing with four Vortex. And there's a vote in the upper right corner of the screen. Check this out, guys, and tell me what you think. Is the 3 Vortex with ECU Shield version better or not? By the way, Na Naim has come all the way over here uh, to uh, what seemed like kill me. That's what I thought, right? And then he didn't kill me. He didn't even shoot at me. And when I fired at him one more time here, uh, he's taking a lot of damage from this. And now he, he seems to be saying no. He seems to be no. See, see that? He says no, no, no. And he's still trying to broker a peace between him and me, and I'm like, okay, you know what? Let's let's forget it. Let's forget everything that happened before. And I'm also signifying, I understand. Let's get this show on the road. Let's let's k take care of the other people, right? And so he jumps away, does something else, and uh, I, I have another target right away. And also, you know, the ECU shield helps you not get locked down. That's also an interesting thing. When you walk away from someone, you need to avoid the lockdown at all costs. You just turn in the shield, you just walk away, and chances are you have a much lower chance to becoming locked down than if you had no shield, obviously, right? 
So that's pretty interesting. Boom! Here I've blocked a full load of Vortex or Aphids or whatever the heck it was. And finally my shield is gone. That means this Vortex Spectre that we're running right now has just absorbed 236,000 shield energy and it's still at 83,000 health. Almost full. And uh, I really think this is an actually very well working setup and it wasn't easy for me to accept the fact that three Vortex are enough because you know how much I enjoy my four Vortex but considering the insane advantages against Ares, building weapons and all this uh, here on, on this thing, I really think this is a very powerful setup, right? So, uh, but as I said, in the upper right corner is a vote for you with one button press, you can just activate that vote and tell, uh, you know, and, and, and make when make your click. Uh, three Vortex and ECU, or rather having four Vortex. Because, of course, you have the mobility, you have the stealth, you can probably avoid some damage and therefore use four weapons. You still have that choice too. Um, but many enemies like using Hydras, for example, Spirals, or when you get locked down and then you have an Ares shooting at you um, with these built-in weapons, you can block, and I had this before when I recorded the gameplay, I don't have it here in this video, but I recorded it uh, uh, still, or I had the situation, uh, basically here, um, I had an Ares shooting me, he locked me down and he hammered with Pulsar, Halo, and his A4 built-in weapons, he hammered into me at short range. And I absorbed all of that, and I just walked away with full HP. And he was like, what the heck, dude? That's a freaking Spectre with no stealth jump, and he couldn't do any damage to me. So, of course, that's you can only do that once with his shield. Like, that much damage, you can only block that mu once. Um, but, of course, uh, having the ability to block that once and not get killed, that's, like, that's a... Uh, a real, real big thing. Normally, you cannot survive something like that, right? So, uh, of course, and that's also something I need to say here, uh, the moon map is pretty much the best condition you can have. Here, I, I didn't read his name. Naim, I'm sorry for this one, man. He didn't fire at me. He could have killed me here easily, and I didn't understand that this is him, right? That's the guy I made peace with, and I just fired a double vortex at him, and he takes a massive damage, and he's like, oh, man, dude, you didn't see me, huh? And, uh, and then I'm still, still didn't realize, and I'm trying to get myself in safety, like, what the heck? Oh, oh, that's him! Oh, man, sh dang it. Whoops, uh, sorry, Naim, my fault. Um, I walk in here, I now show him that I understood now, but too late. And he just took, like, a half a day, half, half his Ares lost just because of two Vortex that hit him. And that was my mistake. Oh, and by the way, why am I wearing this, uh, this, this, uh, this, this cap? And the glasses? Well, the glasses is obvious because we're rocking the boat right here. And uh, the hat, I found it. I was like, hey man, let's make a, a video with a, with a hat again. It's been a while since I, since I last used this, right? So let's get this Ares out of the way. We know this Ares just used his shield. And this time I didn't quick switch to the other guy because I thought maybe he's got last stand, right? I didn't want to risk it. So here goes these two guys. And that's Naim again. And this time I understood that's Naim. I'm not gonna fight him now. Uh, he, he was... I don't know why it happened, but somehow he wanted to, uh, you know, stop the fire between him and me. And for some reason I agreed. It seemed like a fun thing to do, especially since he could have killed me. Um, or really killed me with the, with the uh, invader. As he came with the invader, he could have jumped on me and he could have killed me there. Uh, my physical shoot would not have been able to stop a full invader. Um, but he didn't. So I agreed and uh, that's why we had this situation. 1.2 million damage here, 7 kills, a lot of fun. And uh, let's compare this to a full, um, you know, ECU spec- uh, No, a full 4 Vortex Spectre, right? Uh, a, a Vortex Spectre with four of the Vortex. I'm just coming in here, beacon rush, really quickly, just getting the uh, the beacon here. And while I'm still alive, somehow, I guess I can also just take away like two, three very powerful robots out of the game. This Ares, for example, I wait for it to lose its thing. And then here doing a very interesting quick switch. Fire, 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 quick switch to the Mercury. And then not losing the lock on time, getting this guy as well. And I was like, hey man, I'm still having last stand. I still have a lot of health. What I didn't expect, is this. First off, Ares with shield, and then look at this! Three stealth jumpers at once! Or, or two stealth jumpers, as eight Orkan rockets coming at me. From the right side, some flamer, and from the front we had the Ares and an invader, and they were all activating their abilities at the same time, like whoosh! And the whole team came at me. No chance, no way to avoid dying from this. 
Um, but now we're here with four Vortex rather than three, and that allows us to get at least my one guy away, away. I don't think now, I think we could have also killed him with just three Vortex though. And uh, now I know that this is, oh, Quantum Radar activated. And time it with a landing, there we go, boom. Another one bites the dust. And another one dust, and another one dust. Another one bites the dust, yeah. You're gonna see a lot of godlike in a row now with the four Vortex, here we go, and boom. That invader has a lot of health, it was like at 48%, boom. Instant kill, just completely gone. These hits, and that's also why I love the Vortex so much. You notice these hits. These hits, like, you see someone hitting, bah, 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 health ball, health ball, health ball, it takes less, 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 and then, boom, instantly gone. And that's just the Vortex Spectre. That's how it looks like when the Vortex hits. Not only the Vortex Spectre, but the Vortex Spectre has four of those, right? And, um, yeah, so, is this still the godlike? I think we're still running the godlike here for a few seconds, just if I get this kill. Boom. Rampage. Okay, we're at the Rampage. Raflin, I know you, man. Raflin, I've seen you so many times in the matches that I've played recently. So, shout out to you here, my friend. Boom! Exactly timed when his shield goes down. Boom, boom. Four Vortex, and that's how his nemesis looks like after these four Vortex. And there comes one more. Switch to the next target and already share the damage with the next victim. So that I don't waste any, un you know, any damage or any potential damage here. Boom, boom. Another godlike. Alright, so we're still kicking here. What's coming up? Oh, aha! It is a mender. So, boom! Hitting him hard, waiting for his resistance to drop into one. Now the resistance is gone. Boom! Is the result. So, once again, guys, I'm, I'm directing you guys to the vote in the upper right corner. Tell me what you think. Oh, by the way, here. One shot kill and two shots there. Boom! Gotten the kill to the right. I had to wait for a sec because he had a shield up, but then I knew I could finish him off in one hit. And so, tell me in the... Uh, make your vote count. Tell me what you think. Four Vortex or three Vortex in ECU. This, for example, is one of those perfect situations. There was nowhere where I could have gone. I had no stealth running. I couldn't have walked from the from the position here because it was stuck there. And look how much damage I just took. I lost almost my entire Spectre, including a weapon right here, from one salvo of the Ares fire, right? Here, by the way, I noticed Raflin is getting locked down in the air and I have Quantum Raider active. So it's like this guy is standing around. Perfect hit. Boom. And um, yeah, so... Uh, I think this situation right there, I would have come out of this with absolutely zero damage taken. More, more even, the enemy would have stopped firing at me once he realizes I have an ECU shield, right? Not only do you block 236,000 damage with a max level shield, on top of all that, enemies will stop to fire at you very often because they don't want to waste their damage output, right? So it also has this additional component that, that you need to uh, add on top of all the uses that you have from the shield. So, uh, yeah, I'm really the biggest fan of the Vortex Spectre out there, I think. It's like, this is... I'm literally the biggest fan of this robot. And it wasn't easy for me to accept the fact that maybe three Vortex is even better than four. Um, that's my opinion. I'm, I'm pro three Vortex and ECU shield now. Uh, I'm gonna run this for a little longer while now, but I'm also gonna make some more videos with four of them, so uh, don't worry. I'm not gonna step away from the four Vortex damage either. So, <laughs> I, I can't wait to see you guys' vote results. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below, and if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome. As always, Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.